Hey everyone, Xerix here, and welcome back to Gabriel Knight. Um, I have to do a little bit of an apology for the last video. A um, little bit too much wine, language was probably a little inappropriate, and listening back to the audio as I was going through and editing it, uh, I don't know. So, yeah. Where are you going? Okay. Looks like you kind of walked through that tomb. So yeah, my apologies for that. Um, and other things that I noticed, uh, well, that I did not mention is that I did say that, uh, where are we? The voodoo code. Let's look at that again. Gabriel gazes at the... Yeah. So there are things missing, but we can figure that out. And I was trying to find a way to write it in, and you can't, and you really just have to you know, use some logic and maybe look to see what letters are missing. And it's pretty much just look at this and s visualize it. There's really no other way you're going to figure it out. We know DJ. We have keep. E blank E. S. It. Uh, I'm trying to kind of think of a, a. I mean, obviously I know what it says, so I'm trying to think of a good way to explain. Um. So, I'll just go right out and say it. DJ, keep, eyes, unless there's no Y anywhere else. Eyes on, GK is us. Something here, do not harm, but do not harm. I think really, in order to figure that out, you just kind of have to write it out, see what letters are still missing from the code and put them in there and see what fits. But me writing on paper isn't going to really have any use in the video, so I'll just mention it. But, um, so I don't really know why I went off screen to do that. Because now the guy, well, this, this isn't where I wanted to be at all anyways. Now the guy's probably going to be back. Yeah, yes, I can hear him, so let's just load the save. When we ended, we wanted it to have the, uh, the caretaker there leave. So that we could perhaps leave our own message. But now that I think about it, there is no real logic to the message if we were to write a message, we we could erase it. No, we can't erase it unless we use the brick. But we can't really possibly know what we were going to be writing. So let's not actually do that yet. Pretty much what we need is, we know we have a tracker. A signal device. It's weird that there's two. Hmm. I thought there was just one, but maybe there is two. Well, in the original. Um, and so we're suspicious of Dr. John. So we're going to assume that Dr. John is going to the Conclave tonight. We already determined that there was going to be a Conclave Hello, because we... Glad you could yeah, to shush. Us tonight. We deciphered the drummer code. So there's going to be a Conclave tonight at the Swamp. So we need, and, and assuming Dr. John's going to be there, we need a way to track him and follow him. Because when we went to the swamp, we wandered around and everything was just question mark, question mark, and it eventually led us back to the beginning. So we need to make sure we can track Dr. John. Perhaps with a signal device. Given demand size, that doesn't seem advisable. No. But if you think about it, the the very first code that we got said, told Dr. John, Conclave tonight, bring the whip. So what if we were to leave him a message to bring an object to the Conclave tonight? And the, uh, the whip obviously isn't going to really help us, but if we look at the shrine here, there's a very large coffin. Yes. 
Professor Hartridge called this a sake madule. Yes. And if we, I don't know if we can open it, but we can certainly put a tracker in it. Gabriel slips the signal device into the sake madule. Can I assist you, Mr. Knight? Hmm? No, no, just looking. Now if only they take the coffin to the ritual. And that is your hint to make sure that he takes it. And we are done here. I hate to rush you, Mr. Knight, but I am afraid I must close the museum early this evening. This is St. John's Eve, and it's getting on towards dusk. I have things I must do. I see. Uh, no problem. I'll just, uh... Leave. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. May the spirits guard you well tonight. Yes. Um, as soon as we've done everything we need to do in there, we just get kicked out. And actually, I... Uh, hold on one moment. I have to pause this video. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, somebody at the door. So, not... Not a very good thing. So, let's see if we can go to the bayou now. Let's see if we can use our tracker. Gabriel pulls out the tracking device, hoping that the Sake Madele made it to the ritual and that this thing will work. The tracker doesn't show anything. Oh, great. Now what? Hmm. Huh. I, I'm, I wasn't entirely sure what was going to happen. I thought there was a way to make it so that... Um... Oh, actually... Hmm. Yeah, I thought there was a way to make the game unwinnable at this point. And I was kind of trying to do that. Gabriel feels confused. Bring out the tracker again. Most likely Dr. John does not yeah, have it. Out the track and... Nothing. The tracker does Oh great. This looks familiar. Yeah, we did this before. Okay, let's leave. Yeah, let's go back to the graveyard. I think it was a case in the original where you would put the tracker on the coffin and then obviously uh, Dr. John said he had to leave. So at that point, really, he had no chance to get the coffin. So regardless of what you put up here, it doesn't matter. Um, unfortunately, we have to wait for this guy. He will not just disappear on his own. Well, he will, but we can't force him to. Just need to have a little walk around. Though actually, as I do that, it seems to be passing more time. Maybe this is actually speeding things up. Or maybe not, I don't know. Ah, oh, crap. That was not... <laughs> that was the one thing not to do. I... I... Can we just make him leave, please? Okay, actually, so I'm gonna pause again and wait for him to leave. There's no point in sitting around. And we're back. I pretty much just waited and uh, grabbed a snack while waiting for this guy to leave. So now we can take out the brick and leave our message to Dr. John. Here we are. I think I'll leave a message of my own. I think so. Select the top right corner of the code page to switch, I guess. So yeah, that goes by too fast. I'm not clicking that through. Uh, so, we have the two pages here.
And I think really, we most of this first message is what we want. DJ Conclave. Did I get that right? Oh, let's erase. I don't know if I clicked. Send some daddy's message. DJ Conclave to night. Bring S E. Oh, we can't get into our inventory, can we? We can. No, not that it matters. We don't have any notes on that. S E K E Y. K, I guess, is on the other page. K E. Now, why is what we had to have guessed this is? Um. M. Oh, M was another thing we had to guess. M. A. D. O. U. Did I make a mark? Oh no, come on. Arg. Urgh. And erasing is going to erase the entire thing, isn't it? Sense and that is message. Yeah, it isn't right. Uh, I have to just like pull something up real quick to make sure that I have the the spelling of that right. Yes. Okay. All right. D J C O N C. L A V E T O N I G H T B R I N G S E K E Y M A D O Oh, this was a U, that's why. You have to use all three letters that you didn't know. U L E Pleased with his message, Gabriel tosses the brick down. Now if only DJ reads it in time. <laughs> I guess the narrator is, is keeping with that you don't know who DJ is. So maybe revealing that was a spoiler, I don't know. Let's go back to the bayou and try again. And this is a time that would probably be good to save. And let's look at our tracker. Gabriel pulls out a tracking device, hoping that the Sake Madeleine made it to the oh, ritual there it is. and that this thing will work. Alright, there's a blip. They must be here with the Sake Madeleine. So they may have made it impossible to get into a situation where you can't win. Which is fine, totally fine. I approve of that. <laughs> it was hard it was kinda hard Damn, to force that thing anyways. This better be working. It's still north. And actually, if you listen, you can hear drumming in the background. Gabriel hopes this tracking thing is working correctly. Drumming is getting a little louder. As you may have guessed, it is not possible to find this path on your own. You need to follow it with a tracker. Gabriel feels so turned around. Is this thing working? Much louder, and that means I'm going to save again. Because I don't know if it's going to give me an opportunity to do so later. Mm 
Gabriel can hear the sound of drums, but it seems to be coming from inside his head rather than any specific direction. Much louder, and I'm gonna save again. Because I don't know if that's just the narrator saying we're getting close or we're getting very close. Uh, it just means we're getting close. The entrance to the clearing is marked with voodoo skulls. At last. Alright. And I just realized something. Well, well, cancel out of that first. Uh, okay. Never mind. We can save over. Well, let's go look at the voodoo ceremony going on. Clearly this can only end well. You. What are you doing here? I was just taking a walk and... Uh... No excuses this time, my friend. If there is any doubt... I really don't want to be dead. Can we try that again? If there is any doubt about Dr. John being innocent, uh, or being, I don't know. Dr. John sucks. Uh, retry, I think, just puts us to the last point where we screwed up. Yeah. Which is kind of nice. Later Sierra games did that, like, uh, I know King's Quest Seven did it. Where, even if you hadn't saved lately, it puts you back at the last point where you made a fatal decision. Um, so, well, what do we need to do? Well, clearly, Dr. John immediately recognized us, so we need some sort of disguise. And the other day, we happened to have purchased an animal mask, a crocodile mask, to be precise. Let's put that on. In Rome. There goes nothing. <laughs> That is interesting. Welcome, Brother Crocodile. Please join the... Where is your snake tattoo? Tattoo? Well, I tried this new soap today, and it... You! I knew it! <laughs> um, hi there, Dr. John. <laughs> You shall pay for this violation. <laughs> I really don't right. want to be dead. Can we try that again? Um, well, Dr. John didn't have a snake tattoo. Um, why should we have one? Okay, well, we need a snake tattoo now. And fortunately, we took a copy of Crash's snake tattoo. So, if only we could find a tattoo parlor at this hour. Well, we're not going to. But, Grace is a pretty good artist. She had her art supplies with her. Maybe she could help us. I knew you'd miss me. Really? Yeah, I'm skipping past that because we always hear that. I don't think we can do it based just through the dialogue. Got a minute? What's up? No. We need to actually show her this. We show her picture and then we point at our chest and then it happens. Not quite. Will you do me a favor? What? Use your paints to copy this snake tattoo onto my chest. Now why on earth would you want me to do that? Um... Wards off evil. It wards off evil. It's a good luck snake. Yeah, well, about that tattoo job, good luck finding someone else to do it. Oh. Um, secret? I can't tell you, Grace. It's a secret research thing. I see. Well, I'd like to help you, but I'm not allowed to do snake tattoos. It's a secret artist thing. Please? It would be a good way for us to get closer. Really? Well, no. Eh. I think it's a case. I'm going to a party tonight. 
costume, you know. Hmm, you don't say. I guess you're going with Malia. Uh, yeah. That's right. And why should I help you out when I don't even like Malia? Hmm. Well, if you're jealous about my feelings for her... You know that's not it. I just think, as your friend, that she's trouble. It's perfectly understandable. I know that you have certain feelings for me, quite naturally. Me? I would rather be hung by my hair over a bed of scorpions. I know it must be hard having it in your face like this. No chance to avoid hearing about it, seeing it day by day. Fine, I'll do it. Just shut up. Can we at least go in the back? <laughs> sure, but could you say that one more time and pout your lips more? Ugh. What'd I say? You're a jerk, Gabriel. All right, let's go. The shirt, please. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this moment. Now. I like that they do this. They they had a lot Hold more still. anime or like maybe you'd like to tie me in. Comic style cutscenes. And I'm leaving. Okay, okay. Done. It's just stunning. Sorry, I couldn't make it last longer. Well, it was about what I expected from you. <laughs> All right. So we have got our snake tattoo, and that should be all we need to convince Dr. John that we are one of one of them. It's kind of weird. We're kind of getting close to the end point-wise, and I feel like there's a lot more game left still. Uh, maybe not too much. No, there is a lot. Okay, anyways. Go back to the bayou, and we're probably gonna have to do the whole maze thing again. Yeah. Gabriel activate. The narrator even sound bored at that. Didn't he just come? No, he didn't. Shut up. We know where we're going because we have a tracker. And you know this because we've already gone through this in this save. And yeah, the directions are different it looks like. Maybe not, actually. These kind of look the same. I wonder if you could get here with the track without Gabriel a tracker. Because this seems familiar. I imagine, even if you were to try and do it, it would just send you back to the start, rather than bring you to the right place. Alright. So let's save again. Hit that. That would have been a pain. Crocodile mask back on. When in Rome. Here goes nothing. I don't know if we got a, a point charm earlier. Welcome, Brother Crocodile. Please join the other celebrants. Yes, Dr. John. Uh, <laughs> Fail. But first, name the great serpent who crushes all in his coils. <laughs> all right. I I, I want to fail this at least once just to see what happens. Um, he does. He does. He gives you a quiz to make sure that you've been listening to the story. Papa Giddy? You do not know. You are no believer. Now you will die. I really don't want to be dead. Can we try that again? Well, yes, we can. 
Oh, that's not gonna I'm glad I saved. Alright, we do know the answers to his quiz because we have been paying attention. When in Here goes nothing. Welcome, Brother Crocodile. Please join the other celebrants. Yes, Dr. John. Oh, uh, Brother Eagle. But first... Name the great serpent who crushes all in his coils. How do we know he's Brother Eagle? Do we hear that ever? I don't really think we have. Also... This... The camera's getting closer and closer. Are we on a time limit? Oh shoot, no, we are. Not quite sure. Okay, that was not uh skip cutscene, yes. I really don't want to be dead. <laughs> Can we try that again? That's weird. If I do it that way, if I skip the cutscene, it sends me back here. If I let him die and then When in Rome. Don't skip the cutscene, I end back at the start. Yeah, goes. Very odd. I did not realize that that was a, a timed thing. Until I noticed the camera getting closer and closer. Yeah, why why is he Brother Eagle? Welcome, Brother Crocodile. Please join the other celebrants. Yes, Dr. John. Uh, Brother Eagle. He's got feathers, but... but... First. Okay, well, we know... The great serpent who crushes all in his coil. We know the snake Loa is Dambala. Dambala. You are correct, Brother Crocodile. Who is the destroyer of men? Buddha, perhaps? It's not Dambala, it is Ogun Badagri. Ogun Badagri. You are correct, Brother Crocodile. Enjoy yourself well tonight. <laughs> that almost feels like copy protection. And some more bloody chickens. Sounds slightly different than the original. But, uh, yeah, that's most of his dream come to life. And, yeah, under drug induced hallucinations, apparently. Which brings us to day seven. My last ally laid to waste. I ran towards the light. I prayed for one to change my path to give me strength to flight. To fight, not flight. <laughs>
Gabriel. Gabriel, wake up. Ow, my head. Oh, it's about time. I've been trying to wake you up for hours. There's no time to lose. I had another dream. It wasn't a dream, believe me. Now come on, get dressed. Wait a minute. I'm starting to remember. Something about Malia. She's the head priestess of the voodoo cartel. They're responsible for the murders. They've been doing it for years. Malia? Last night. She was the leopard. Like in my dreams, Grace. I know. Those dreams were a warning. Now come on, get dressed. But last night, Malia changed. She became... someone, something else. And then I blacked out, I think. How did I get home? I followed you last night. I knew you were gonna try to sneak into a ceremony. Lucky for you that I did. If you'd been left at that circle last night, I don't know what she would have done to you. You're wrong. Molly wouldn't hurt me. What about Tetalo? Tetalo. They were chanting that last night. That's the name from Gunther's journal, the woman who took the talisman. Yes, Gabriel, it's your destiny you're facing. You can't just blunder your way through this or you'll end up dead. You have to call your great uncle in Germany. He knows more about this than we do. Okay, I'll call him. But Malia isn't responsible for those things, Grace. It's that spirit, that Loa. It's Tetalo. Yeah, possession is convenient that way. Call Wolfgang, Gabriel. I'll be in the shop. Yep, that all happens. So, uh... In the next video, we will, um, try and figure out what the hell is going on. Thank you for watching, and see you then.